Hi guys, I hope you are uh, well. Um, cryptocurrency is a great opportunity, but it's not easy. Um, a lot of people have lost a lot of money actually, even though uh, on average the price is going up for cryptocurrency. Uh, Bitcoin is now about $620 and uh, many other cryptos uh, are valued uh, decently. Um, uh, Ripple still around two, 300 million, Litecoin still around 150 million market cap. Dogecoin actually is quite cheap at about 20 million. Um, uh, you have a lot of newcomers, uh, Dash uh, at around 70 million, Monero just went up a lot, about 150 million market cap. Uh, NXT is still pretty low at 20 million, but there is also Ardor, uh, and you don't see that yet in the charts, but um, uh, if you calculate that also, you probably are about uh, at about 30, 40 million market cap. Um, and... Um, there are some newcomers also like Steam, it's still 100 million or so. Uh, NAM, uh, a competitor of NXT, um, also at about 70, 80 million. Um, many of these coins were valued a lot lower with the exception of Ripple, Litecoin, Dogecoin, NXT. Um, and Bitcoin has been higher too, but. Um, uh, there are a lot of coins, not in the top 10, but certainly in the top 20, uh, 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 that have actually, like Monero is the best example right now, gone up um, times. When I started watching two years ago, NXT was 50 million, but uh, Monero was 5 million, 10 times cheaper. And so t today, Monero is 150 million market cap, so. It went up times um, the market cap times uh, uh, 30. Um, but I think that the biggest opportunities in cryptocurrency are still in front of us. Um, I still have the feeling that we are just starting out with cryptocurrency. Um, one has led the way. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, I think it's comparable to Netscape in 1995 that really brought the internet to the masses. It was the first um, user-friendly um, program uh, for the computer, for the desktop, that uh, allowed you to browse the internet. Uh, and before that it was pretty geeky. And Bitcoin, I think actually cryptocurrency is still in the geeky phase. I think we still need a Netscape, um, a, a currency, a cryptocurrency that is actually user friendly, um, that is easy to use for the common man. Um, I don't think that's Bitcoin, um, and nor do I think it's uh, the competition uh, that we are currently seeing. I think um, cryptocurrencies are still way too hard uh, to uh, use and uh, really the fundamentals need to be changed. And, 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 and the problem in cryptocurrency is that a lot of the things that people value are actually detrimental to uh, worldwide adoption. Um, and this is of course typical, uh, that was the case also for uh, the internet. Um, but for example people hold high that uh, the, 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 the blockchain is um, um, not reversible and uh, Ethereum got a lot of um, slack for that for reversing uh, a transaction that was a thievery I personally think that that's actually the future that um, um, cryptocurrencies that want to be really successful with uh, the common man uh, well you know if it's clearly a theft transaction uh, and, and, and the majority of the people um, 
uh, agree with that, then the transaction will be reversed. I think that gives a lot more safety to uh, people, a lot more, s well, that's what banks also offer. Uh, the, the, the future is not in being less user friendly. The, the future is being more user friendly. You, 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 cryptocurrency have certain advantages, but it cannot miss the advantages of banking. The advantage of cryptocurrency is that it goes up in value. Huh? But the disadvantage is that you lose all your money if you lose your password. Yeah, that's not acceptable for the common man uh, that they lose all their money if they forget their password or they lose their their paper backup. No, huh? So you will need a system where um, there is um, personal responsibility, but there is also an insurance where automatic insurance as part of the deal where if people get their money stolen, um, they get it paid back unless it's fraud so this is also the future i think for cryptocurrency and it's not the responsibility of the user to make sure his funds are safe it's actually the responsibility of the currency issuer and they need to really like they are the first one to pay the bill if somebody loses their money not the end consumer. I know this is shocking for uh, many cryptocurrency users, but that's that's just the only network that's gonna really find mass adoption because people people uh, that's what people want. People don't want that they lose their money if they lose their passwords. Yeah. Um, but this is just one of the fundamentals. There are so many other things that you can change in cryptocurrency that make it um, that that needs to be changed for it to be to find global adoption uh, with um, with your aunt and your mother and your father and your brother people that are not geeks. Eh? Um, it needs to be a lot more user friendly. Um, eight decimals is not what people do. We don't do eight decimals. Eh? Um, people can deal with one decimal point, uh, two, eh? but that's about it. Um, um, what else? I do think that cryptocurrencies need to be um, need to offer privacy uh, standard um, and and that's what Monero is showing us and and and, and I, I think it's interesting many of these coins show us what's valuable for people you remember um, the, the the coin from Iceland it was a total bust later on but it did go to 1 billion market cap um, and 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 at the time, uh, this showed me that yes, people do value national cryptocurrencies. Um, so so there is a, a future there. You need to really. Um, I think cryptocurrencies. You will get a very rich world of a lot of different offerings and a lot of different successes. I hope that's going to happen, um, uh, but I think that's what the market is showing us, that there are a lot of niches in cryptocurrencies that can be satisfied. National uh, cryptocurrencies, later on you got Ethereum booming, and so smart contracts, um, currencies that can do a lot more than just send and receive and store money, but that you can connect smart um, transactions to it that you can say well if I die I want the, uh, the money to automatically go to the, this person or that person you can really make sure that's gonna happen you don't need uh, a middleman anymore for that that uh, charges you a lot of money um, um, steam eh, the bubble before uh, Monero 
um, showed us that um, yeah um, actually cryptocurrency allows people to get paid um, and at the same time people don't pay the bill for that it's just via voting that people get paid um, I think that has a great future too um, Monero and privacy coins have a great future too there is certainly a big market for people that want that the currency really makes a big effort to keep your transactions and your wealth private but I think this will become I think a very successful coin will use different elements uh, to, to, to it offers standard a lot of privacy uh, but it also offers standard a lot of security that you won't lose your money it also offers um, what else does it offer smart transactions um, and and it will and that I think is a big opportunity here it will also offer a business model that's interesting to see with uh, that cash that uh, is going to be released soon they have not only like they have a mining system where people get uh, paid to mine the coin by the way I think that's gonna go away huh? um, even though mining was instrumental to create a I to have to get cryptocurrency going it's only advan advantageous for geeks eh, that know how to run miners but it's a, an enormous cost for um, for all the rest eh, for the cryptocurrency users and um, and uh, investors they don't gain anything with that so I, I, re I really do think the, the, the future will be a lot will be proof of stake coins um, Zcash, for example, is missing that. It's again a proof of work coin, but it's backed by Roger Ver. He, he supports that. And um, um, but what's interesting is it's an, a, a privacy coin, eh? so all transactions are mixed automatically. Uh, but they also have a business model. Um, the in addition to the coins, new coins going to miners, there will also go new coins to the development team. So so that's I think the big opportunity here to to launch cryptocurrencies where you have a smart business model and some cryptocurrencies that are launched today uh, they go way too far in that for example uh, scenario uh, it's uh, the vision is there to create a cryptocurrency uh, but it's a lot more than that it's a social uh, media platform like Facebook where people get uh, paid uh, based on how much um, um, likes they get and um, it's like Steam. Steam does that too. Um, but the business model there is that they issue more coins for everybody that creates value. And and, 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 and it's... Although there's a, a process where, where, where there are a few people that uh, verify the amount of new coins that are created, this is really like a, a startup business that issues a lot of new shares to finance everything. That's not going to be a success. I really think that it's very important that the owner preserves a big uh, sorry the founder and the founders preserve a very big portion of the of the coins this is very important that they are very careful who gets coins but they are also issuing more coins to uh, pay people so there is a balance there to be uh, maintained and, and and we just have to look at the world of companies the big successful companies, how do they do it? The Ubers of today, Airbnb, Google, uh, Facebook, these founders uh, or Microsoft, Apple, they have a big stake in their company and they try to keep a big stake. Some give away a lot more stake than others, but like a, a strong founder would, would start with about 60, 70% of the company, um, uh, and have then a partner or two partners or, or a VC that have the rest. Um, some founders start with less 
that's like the case that has been the case for for uh, for Facebook and for Microsoft and for uh, but then for example Apple um, they had already Steve Jobs for example had at less uh, shares and the Airbnb founder also had less um, uh, it's it's about 30 40 percent or so uh, because they have another important um, a partner and they also have important VCs and so but these are the, 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 the these are the amounts between 20 and 60 percent is what the, the the leader has and 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 in cryptocurrency this is not done correctly I discovered that uh, Vitalik uh, Buterin from ethereum only has uh, had uh, about one uh, percent of the coins um, when so so the 60 million coins were uh, sold and then an additional 12 million were for the uh, for for the development team but from that he only got about maybe half a million or a million coins so he only has about one percent of the coins i really don't think that's a good model it's not enough many of the, and you see that cryptocurrency people come and go way too fast founders don't st stay with the coins dogecoin also the founder is gone eh? uh, nxt founders are gone um bitcoin even bitcoin the founder is gone but there it's another story he did have a big stake uh and he mined a lot uh, at the start and, and he still has a 1 million so so that's a good actually it's it's good there um, um, but so so I think that's what needs to change in cryptocurrency is that founders really need to hold on to a very a much bigger stake um, um, so that they are really motivated to stick with the project um, and, and but there also needs to be a business model cryptocurrencies don't make money unless they ask transaction fees um, and um, and that's very hard in a very competitive world uh, to ask fees so so it is the, the, the logical business model is that you issue more currency and you pay stuff people marketing with that eh? Uh, but it, this needs to be done wisely and we can just look at companies how they do that and they only do that when they really get great value in return and that's what cryptocurrencies need to do too um, but they need to have that flexibility um, many cryptocurrencies limit themselves by stating in advance how much inflation there will be and, uh, and, 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 and so they have no flexibility to issue more coins for interesting opportunities Um, and also I have to admit that I was wrong about Bitcoin. I have come to realize that um, the way they are dealing uh, with things is actually pretty smart. Um, so, so, so the inflation is going down over time. This lowers the security of the network. And so now they have, um, uh, by limiting uh, the block size, uh, they are forcing people to pay transaction fees if they want their transaction to be validated quickly. And this brings in transaction fees, income for miners. And that's actually a good way to compensate the loss of inflation. Um, because miners need to get paid. You actually need about 5% inflation. Uh, but Bitcoin is starting to go below that. I know, don't know the exact amount, but over time it will become only 2 and then 1% and less. And so, But if all the rest comes from transaction fees, that's fine too. If you have per year about 5%, that comes mostly from um, of the value of the coin uh, in, in in mining income. That's fine, and and actually, if it comes from transaction fees, it's better because then it's paid by the user, the ones that really transact Bitcoin, pay the price, and not the one that hold Bitcoin. Because the lower inflation becomes, the better it is for just the holder. And so it's it's actually a pretty good bus uh, business model. Uh, but what what Bitcoin still lacks is a steady uh, stream of revenue uh, for uh, for uh, they don't need to just pay the miners they also need to pay uh, the development team um, and and also even a marketing team um, i think over time we will see coins that do that and that will start to gain uh, in market cap versus bitcoin but of course bitcoin being the first it has a lot uh, going for it so I, I think it's still a very very good investment actually um uh, even though transaction fees have gone up a lot, uh, I still think that uh, it might um, have um, a period where it's really actually uh, gaining again versus uh, 
alternative cryptocurrencies because it's been losing steadily um, versus altcoins um, uh, it used to be 99% Bitcoin now it's only 80% Bitcoin 20% uh, altcoins uh, but I think this decline will continue to be the case but it's still an amazing performance that after we're now 2016 so after s eight years Bitcoin still has 80% of the market cap I think in four years time or so it will still have like 60 or 50 percent of the market cap so that's a great investment because in that time frame um, cryptocurrencies may have um, tenfolded or even hundredfolded in market cap so bitcoin will very likely also be a big part of that so it's a great investment and and i've decided to um, keep my uh, bitcoin exposure uh, to 30 percent Actually, 20% and another 10% I will use for uh, launching my own cryptocurrency. Um, NXT, I, I decided to keep my exposure at 40%, so that's still my biggest exposure. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I, I, I have decided to not invest in, in, in other coins. I really want to focus on my own coin. Uh, but of course, there are amazing opportunities in, in the cryptocurrency world. But I really want to I want to transition from an investor to an entrepreneur. That's what I really want. And so that means that I, I just don't take more investments on because every investment is, is a problem. It's an opportunity, but it's also a problem. You need to start following it, and and and, and so I don't want to do that anymore. Um, I've come to realize that that's that's my biggest. That's why my investment results have been not that great, because I always see problems in coins, and 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 that's why I don't invest. But that means that I just need to start my own, because then I can create what I really would like to see in a coin um, so yeah short video um, that was it I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you all a great day bye